Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here, and also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Before we jump into today's video, I have to start with the standard disclaimer. This video is purely for educational purposes. The information shared here is intended to help you understand the tools and techniques used in ethical hacking and cybersecurity. It is crucial to use this knowledge responsibly and ethically. Now let's dive into the fascinating world of ethical hacking tools. Today, we're going to be exploring the top 5 hacking tools for beginners in 2024. These tools are essential for anyone interested in cybersecurity, penetration testing, or just understanding how hacking works. Whether you're a student, a security enthusiast, or just curious about the digital world, these tools will provide valuable insights into the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity. First up, we have Nmap, the network mapper. Nmap is like the Swiss army knife of network scanning. It's a free and open source tool, essential for any security enthusiast. Nmap scans networks to discover connected devices, services, and operating systems. Imagine you're a detective at a crime scene. Nmap surveys your network. It helps identify vulnerabilities and gain valuable reconnaissance. How does Nmap work? It sends network packets and analyzes responses. Nmap paints a detailed picture of your network. Use it for tasks like port scanning and identifying live hosts. It's like having X-ray vision for your network. But remember, use Nmap ethically and legally. Download it for free from the official Nmap website. Start exploring its capabilities and dive into tutorials online. Next, let's talk about password cracking tools, specifically Hydra and John the Ripper. These tools are like the lockpicks of the digital world, helping you test the strength of passwords and identify weak links in your security. Now, before we dive into the specifics of each tool, let me be clear. Password cracking should only be performed on systems that you own or have explicit permission to test. Hydra is a powerful brute force password cracker that can target a wide range of services, including SSH, FTP, HTTP, and more. Think of Hydra as a relentless attacker that tries different password combinations at lightning speed until it finds the right one. It's particularly effective against services that don't have strong password policies or rate limiting in place. John the Ripper, on the other hand, is more of a versatile password cracker that excels at cracking passwords stored locally on a system. It uses a variety of techniques, including dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and rainbow table attacks to crack passwords. Imagine John the Ripper as a master codebreaker, meticulously analyzing password hashes and employing different strategies to uncover the hidden passwords. So when should you use Hydra versus John the Ripper? Well, Hydra is your go-to tool for attacking remote services, while John the Ripper is better suited for cracking passwords stored locally on a system. Both Hydra and John the Ripper are incredibly powerful tools, but it's important to remember that they should only be used for ethical purposes. Never use these tools to target systems or accounts that you don't have permission to access. Now let's move on to Fluxion, a tool that's particularly interesting for those of you interested in Wi-Fi security. Fluxion is a social engineering tool that allows you to perform ethical Wi-Fi hacking, primarily targeting WPA2 PSK networks. Now before you get any ideas, let me be clear. Using Fluxion on networks that you don't own or have permission to test is illegal and unethical. Fluxion is a powerful tool that should only be used for educational and ethical hacking purposes. So, how does Fluxion actually work? Well, it leverages a technique called a captive portal attack. Essentially, Fluxion creates a fake captive portal that mimics the login page of a legitimate Wi-Fi network. When a victim connects to the fake portal and enters their Wi-Fi password, Fluxion captures the credentials, allowing you to access the network. Fluxion is a great tool for testing the security of your own Wi-Fi networks and educating yourself about the dangers of public Wi-Fi. By understanding how Fluxion works, you can better protect yourself from these types of attacks. Moving on, let's talk about Wireshark. Now, Wireshark is a network protocol analyzer, which might sound intimidating, but it's actually a really cool tool once you get to know it. Think of Wireshark as a microscope for your network traffic. It allows you to capture and analyze network packets in real time, giving you a deep dive into the conversations happening between devices on your network. With Wireshark, you can see things like 
what websites a particular device is visiting, what data is being transmitted, and even what protocols are being used. It's like listening in on the whispers of your network, revealing the hidden language of ones and zeros that make up our digital world. Now you might be wondering, why would I want to analyze network traffic? Well, for starters, it's essential for troubleshooting network issues. If your internet is slow, or a particular application isn't working correctly, Wireshark can help you pinpoint the source of the problem. But Wireshark is also an incredibly valuable tool for security professionals. By analyzing network traffic, security analysts can identify malicious activity, such as malware infections or data breaches. It's like having a security camera that records everything happening on your network, allowing you to rewind and analyze suspicious events. Wireshark is a free and open source tool available for Windows, MacOS, and Linux. Just like Nmap, you can download it from the official website and start exploring its capabilities. Finally, we have Metasploit, the big daddy of ethical hacking tools. Now Metasploit is a powerful framework for developing and executing exploit code against a remote target machine. It's like having a whole arsenal of cyber weapons at your disposal, each one designed to exploit specific vulnerabilities in different systems. Now, before you get any ideas about launching cyber attacks, let me be clear. Using Metasploit against systems that you don't own or have explicit permission to test is illegal and highly unethical. Metasploit is an incredibly powerful tool that should only be used for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and security research. So, how does Metasploit actually work? Well, it's a complex framework, but essentially, it provides you with a collection of exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules that you can use to target vulnerabilities in different systems. An exploit is a piece of code that takes advantage of a specific vulnerability, while a payload is the code that gets executed once the exploit is successful. Auxiliary modules provide additional functionality such as port scanning, network sniffing, and more. Metasploit is a command line tool, so it might seem a bit intimidating at first, but there are tons of resources and tutorials available online to help you get started. So there you have it, the top five hacking tools for beginners in 2024. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and can be dangerous if used improperly. Always use them ethically and legally and never target systems that you don't own or have permission to test. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Until next time, stay secure, stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of cybersecurity.